It won't be for long. Just long enough for them to find out what's going on. Please don't leave me here. Just for a couple of days. You'll see. Time will go by fast. Susan, we need to go. There's no reason to drag this out. Be brave, darling. You're strong. I know you're strong. But here we have a better chance of understanding what's happening. We can find a way to protect you. Nobody can protect me. Your belongings are in that bag over there. Cole and I are right next door. If you need anything or if anything's wrong, just call and we'll come right away. Okay. can't take it anymore. Uh, no. First, there was the invisible friend she keeps talking to, right? And then there was stuff moving around the house by itself, and now these things that are attacking her in the middle of the night? Philip, I know it's difficult, no. but I... You don't understand. We're done. We quit. Uh, hey, tell her we have to go away. I, I don't even really care, but there is no way she's coming back home with us, okay? We want our normal she's life just back. just a child. You're the only family she's got. She needs you. You can't dump her just like that. She'll get over it. But we are done pretending. Okay? Now you tell her, or I'll tell her. Give me some time. Let me figure it out. You don't take too long, Nathan. Come on, Susan. Coffee? Sure. Looks like we're gonna be in for a long night. You know when the attack started? Her mother told me that they had been going on for months. At first she thought there were nightmares and that she would get used to it. But then she realized there was more to it than that. Marks on her body. Look like scratches or bites. You see where these wounds are located? She couldn't have done this. And it doesn't look like child abuse. If she's telling the truth, maybe something is trying to kill her. Well, whatever the case, that's one brave little girl. She's got a very interesting psychological profile for a kid her age, that's for sure. You look beat. Why don't you go off to bed? I'll, uh, I'll take first watch. Call you at 3 a.m.? Okay. Good night, Cole. Good night, Nathan. All right. Find somewhere to change. 
Hope they haven't put cameras in here, too. Come on, Bunny Graf. Let's see where we're going to sleep tonight. I'm gonna turn out the light now. Good night, Jody. Wait! Can you leave the light on in the hall? I don't like it when it's dark. Sure. How's that? Good. Good night. Night. Don't be afraid, Aiden. We're gonna have a good night's sleep. And nothing is going to happen. I can't sleep, Aiden. I think I need a story. I said no. End of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair! How come everyone can go and I can't? I do everything you ask of me all week, and I never get to have any fun! For the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. <laughs> ah! yeah. I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything. And I'm locked up in here! Come on, I just want to go out and have some fun! I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. I hate you, Cole. And I hate Nathan! And I hate everyone in this rotten fucking place! 
I know you don't mean it, Jody. Nathan just wants to protect you, that's all. Hey, no swearing, okay, Jody? Cody, this is not going to do you any good. Found it. Period. Enough. This is getting you nowhere. Oh, stop it, Aiden. They don't give a shit if we break everything in this goddamn room. If that's not gonna work, we have to figure out what will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's calm down. She smashed up the apartment first, but <laughs> she's calm down. Okay. Sure, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but... You understand, right? I just... I need to go out tonight. Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. Locked. Oh, of course it is. Well, hello, Cole. Jody. A little late for a day trip, isn't it? Well, it was Nathan's idea. Some kind of, like, night training in the D-Wing. I mean, as if my days weren't enough for his experiments. <laughs> Funny, because, uh, you know, I just spoke to Professor Dawkins and... Uh... Oh, well, he, yeah, he just called my cell. And, um... I... I don't know, it's just like a sudden flash of uh, genius or something, and so, um, yeah, he wants me to do this new experiment, but I don't know really. Well, you know them scientists, they never stop. <laughs> 
What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? Uh... He, he lost... He, he lost his voice. I think it's like a... a virus or something. That's more than, that's more than I've gotten out of him all, all day long, so. Well, it's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. Safer for all of us. All right, well, see ya. Go on now. At least we don't have to look for Cole's car. There's cameras everywhere. Better not hang around here too long. Now get in the car and start it up. Glamorous escape, but, but it'll do. Let's go, Aiden. I'll try not to attract attention, okay? You'll forgive me, right? I'll be back soon. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, Aiden. Take him into the forest. Make sure he's safe. This is the place. The girls must be inside already. They're not here yet. We'll wait. How old are you, miss? I'm 21. I just want a lemonade. How old do you think she is? Fifteen? Maybe sixteen. Now, what is she doing in here all her own? 
I don't know. Maybe she's looking for our company. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you know what? I think I'm taking a shine to that little hole. <sighs> You're all talk, girl. <laughs> Finish your beer and shut the fuck Hey, don't tell me she ain't got you all hot under the collar, huh? She looking for it. <sighs> yeah, well, you sure gotta wonder what she doing here this time of night. <laughs> fuck. Look at that little piece of ass, man. She's kinda pretty, too, huh? Come Earl. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Shoot some pool, darling. night for me out with the girls trying to hustle me girl truth be told you look kind of young to be in here how old are you um i'm 21 Parents know you're in here? Yeah. Sure, they, they dropped me off. I mean, they'll be back. I'm, I'm sure they'll be back soon. Hey! Back off! Come on, baby, you know you want to. Oh, 
Jody! My God. Are you all right? Good God, what happened? I just wanted to go out. I'll just be like everyone else for once. Oh, no, I know. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Of course, we'll come to see you whenever it's possible. And when you're better, you'll join us in our new home. Okay? Well, I think it's for the best. Goodbye, dear. Enough. Come on. Totally exhausted and thirsty, and I have no clue where we fucking are, so just play nice and give me a break, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm dying of thirst. And everything's fucked. But it's gonna be okay. Leave me alone, Aiden. Hey, Aiden. Just 
no reason to be nervous. Back off there. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, I'm so sorry to disturb you. I I'm just looking for some place to spend the night and and I was hoping that... You can't stay here. Sorry. Oh, please. It's gonna be really cold tonight. No. I, I have nowhere else to go, and... Look, I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. You need to leave now. Okay. You can stay here tonight. Come in. What's your name? I'm Jody. I'm Paul. These are my sons, Corey and Jay. My mother. Masani, don't be surprised if she doesn't answer you. She hasn't spoken in years. We're about to have dinner. Would you like to eat with us? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. We don't see many hitchhikers out here. Can I ask where you're headed? I just keep moving from day to day. I guess if I keep going long enough, I'll figure out where I'm headed. I see. You guys are really far from everything here. Hmm. My family's lived here for generations. I was born here. I'll probably die here. I tell my boys to go. I know there's nothing for them here. But, uh, they want to stay with their grandmother and me, so. <laughs> you guys are, um, Navajo, right? We're Diné. That means the people in Navajo. That's what we call ourselves. Do you breed horses? Yeah. Mustangs. We also have a bunch of churros. Churros? Sheep. We sell their wool and milk. It's not much, but it keeps us alive. you hear what I hear what do you mean you value your life lock your door and don't come out until the morning
ashes. What's got them so scared? Very strange place. Don't worry. Tomorrow will be a long way from here. Good night, Ida. You stay in your room. No matter what you hear. to bed. You can leave in the morning. I told the boys to let you sleep. Thanks. I... I really needed it. Made some coffee. be done on the farm. Maybe you'd like to stay on for a few days. Then a helping hand. Couldn't pay you anything, but uh, you'd have a roof, food on the table. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, w why not? Good. You'll find some more clothes in Corey's room. See you outside?
Ready for work? I'm ready when you are. The sheep need water. Think you can handle that? Sure. Thanks, Judy. Can you get some hay from the barn? Help me, Aiden. Not the whole goddamn haystack. Hey, Jody! Lunch? Okay, l let me just finish this first. Put it down anywhere. Thanks, Jody. Lunchtime. Go and join the boys if you're hungry. You coming? Later. I still have work to do. Okay. Later then. Have a seat. Thanks. Is it true that your grandmother hasn't spoken in, in years? Yeah. My father said she hasn't said a word since my great-grandmother died. That's got to be 30 years. There's a lot of work to do on the ranch. Yeah. Jay takes care of the horses. I watch the churros, and my father does just about everything else. I saw the dead sheep. What happened to them? A storm. They wander out of the pen and choke to death on the sand. I mean, I, I saw the carcasses. Their insides were completely torn out. We've got coyotes. Coyotes kill sheep. Do you always ask so many questions? When I don't understand something, yeah. Yeah? How about if I started asking you questions? Where you come from? What you're doing here? You probably wouldn't like it, huh? So keep your secrets to yourself, and don't ask any more questions. You'll excuse me, I got work to do. Eh, don't mind him, Jody. He's okay when you get to know him. I'll bet. I guess I better get back to it or Paul will get mad. <laughs> See you later. Well done, Jody. Jody, and I'm, I'm gonna stay here for a little bit and help out. I hope that you don't mind. This is beautiful. Did you make this yourself? Maybe the boys could use some help. Okay, I'll check. Hey, you need help, Corey? No, not really. I'm gonna go see if Jay needs any help. Yeah, later. Holy shit, an antique. 
This has got to be like 40 or 50 years old. Good job. Let's see what Jay's doing. Proud and stubborn. Never wants to go in with the others. Do you mind if I try? You worked with horses before? No. <laughs> go right ahead. His name's Ashki. Hey there, Ashki. Don't be afraid. I'm just gonna come over there, okay? <laughs> See, Ashki? That's not so bad, is it? Admit it. You kind of like me, huh? <laughs> hey, I didn't. Ever dreamed of riding a horse? Take him to the enclosure. How'd you do that? We all have our secrets, right? Maybe I misjudged you. If you want to take a shower, it's behind the barn. Ladies first. It's fine by me. And then, the guy left running. And you know what? He was never seen again. <laughs> it's time to go to bed. What's happening here? Why do we have to lock up the house? Just go to your room, Jody. And don't come out, no matter what happens. You remember the sheep last night? 
I don't want anything to happen to you. For God's sakes, Paul. What's going on here? Just go to your room. There's nothing you can do. you to stay in your room. You could have been killed. What's happening here? What was that thing? You should have listened to me. Stayed in your room. You have to tell me the truth. You have to tell me the truth now. It's Yeitzo. He wants blood. That's all he's interested in. We can't do anything about it. You can't fight a spirit. Spirits don't live in this world. If he's here, there's a reason. <laughs> 